us or whoever uh, whoever else joins us we're going to talk about ways you can get funded for your business um but most people know most people know but some don't you know um some are still new to the internet new to youtube and um they just want to know what are the various ways to get funding for your business so um here's here's the first one which i'm going to show this is this is the first thing you must know determine how much funding you will need Right or wrong? Right. Alonzo, what do you think? Very yep. okay. right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. I said, I think it's very right. You know, in terms of like, you got to know how much you want to ask for or how much, you know, because they're going to want to know what you're spending the money on. Even you, as the entrepreneur, as the person that wants to start this business, you want to know how much you need. You want to—that's what—that's where your research comes in. That's when you do your research, you, and it depends on the type of business that you get into. If you want to open a McDonald's, that—that's a, a million dollar what franchise fee? I don't know. I think it's a million dollars or half a million. I don't know how much you need to actually. Um, to, to, uh, to get a McDonald's franchise, fine. You don't want to go to a McDonald's franchise. Way. You want to have um, maybe like one of those food trucks. How much does a food truck cost? How much does those licensing costs? Like certifications and, and freezer and cooks and food, monthly expense. After determining how much funding you would need for your business. Well, uh, Wally, back to you. Right. So, yeah, it's like I said earlier, you know what I'm saying? When you start up, you know, depending on what you're doing and how you're moving, it depends on, you know, it will depend on your price. Like, for instance, like if I see you say you're going to be an accountant, right? Of course, you need your office space. You need your desk, office chair. You need a printer. You need a fax machine. Um, or I, I believe the printer can also do fax, I do, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can. Nowadays, you don't even need a fax machine. You can actually right. get one of those, um, what's it called? Uh, you can get one of those, um, you can sign up to, to one of those, uh, crap. It's like a website. You go, you sign up for um, a fax number. They'll give you a number and you can literally fax your documents from your computer right you right. need a fax machine nowadays yeah so yeah so when it comes to all the supplies you know you need your desk office chair mm -hmm. your printer um i know you need a what, what are those called those um those office um office shelf to keep your files you know, oh, the cabinet, yeah. In the cabinets, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the cabinets. You know, file folders. Um, what else is there? What else is there? A uh, phone. Of course, you gotta have a phone for your business, right? So people can contact you. So um, what else is there? What else is there? of course, you're gonna need um, paper, ink, all those things mm -hmm. that all combines. That, that all those things go correlating within the business, right? And, so, and it depends on it depends on the type of business you have. Like for example. Right, it, no. Alonzo, he's a, a insurance a financial guy. He probably works from home. You work from home, right? You don't need to go out and get an office. Um, kind of, sort of. <laughs> well, here's the thing. So, it's good to have an office because it adds um, discipline, right? So, there, you have to go through, like, the act of getting up and getting dressed every day. Because the gift and the curse of working from home is you can be in your pajamas all day, and then you just be like, "All right, <laughs> right." So you, those are things that you have to factor in, right? Um, also, things like overhead, like you're saying, paying for an office, um, and then what type of office are you going to get? Are you going to get an office that's in an office building where you just pay for like a cubicle, but they have a, um, well, they have them in New York. I'm sure they have them in all big cities. Where yes. like you pay for a cubicle and the 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 the, the um, secretary is there, but she's for the floor and 
you know, they have the coffee and stuff, but that's for the floor, but you can still sit there and buy stuff from the vending machine so you can choose your customer. That's my, that's how my office on 42nd Street. Oh, so you have one of those uh, day offices that you can rent? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like... I'm um, sorry, not 42nd on... Uh, right. But um, yeah, I would be more inclined to agree with Alonzo. I think, because another reason why, in most cases, you don't ultimately want people to come to your home and no, then, no, you know, no. to see people, like to come see you for that type of information. Like, so you would want to office more than anything else because it just makes more sense. Like, you don't even have to have people come to your home. You can meet at, like, I know Wegmans. Are you guys familiar with Wegmans? grocery store yeah okay. i don't think you guys have it on that side uh, what about uh, wally do you have wegmans in florida not that i know okay wegmans they have like a a section where it's a lot of it's like business type where you can sit and 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 do business um you know so wegmans have something like that starbucks you can always meet at a starbucks um panera bread I've met people there, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've met people.